Okay, so we've been at this uh, spot for quite a while now, and I haven't gotten very far. I was pretty adventurous. <laughs> But I like what it's turning out to look like, and I'll probably finish it another time. We probably won't be here. I mean, technically, this took me about, I don't know, 20 minutes. So this whole thing is going to take me probably two hours. We're definitely not going to be here for two hours. So anyway, it's a lovely spot. So this is all I've gotten so far, and we're leaving. But that's okay, I took a photo, and I will finish from the photo. I like it so far, though. You paint. Hang on, I don't like this glare. Let's see what we have like this. Uh-oh, that just went in the trash, didn't it? Okay, so that's okay. Mom, you need enough paint. Can you say hello, everybody? Hello, everybody. Is it a girl or a boy? Probably both. A girl. Okay. And not a boy. Hello, everybody. Um, so you've seen some footage of what I did in um, at the park with my kids and my husband. And I just wanted to show you that I did finish that sketch up. And I think I'm gonna leave it as is. I think I'm not going to add color to it. I really enjoy it just as it is. She really wants me to paint it, but I don't think I'm going to. So I do have just a few pages left, just this one, and probably I'll do something on the back here. My son did that for me. Um, I did sketch out a vehicle the other day while we were grabbing some food from a food truck. And, um, I have uh, almost finished this book, so I'm really excited because after this, I am going to be moving into my, oh, trying to get it. I'm going to probably move everything into here. I really enjoy this notebook and I just feel really sad. Can I move this over here, Missy? I just feel really sad that it just sits on in my shelf uh, and waits for travels and we don't really take a lot of big travels. So I thought that if we did, if I just took this as my like on the go kit, uh, then it would get more use and it's a relatively the same size. So it will fit in my um, little bag perfectly. And um, so after I thought about this a tad bit more, I thought that, you know, this does have the uh, Strathmore mixed media paper and then it has some tome over paper in it. So what I could do is I could just finish this up as a sketchbook on the go and my illustrated journal since I really enjoy doing it for my Florida trip. Um, I can still doodle in here and I didn't think that it was like so small that I couldn't get some detail down. So I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. I have just a few more pages left here. Um, I've pre-prepped this one, which I really like. Thank you, Robin. Um, I will link her information in the description box, but she kind of inspired me to do this. She did it a little different um, than I did, but I really enjoy it. So I have this spread, two, three, four, and then five. I'll finish this book completely. So I have about five more pages in here, and then I will move on to this one. I am guessing that by the time I get this one, like finish this sketch and get this one and a half like drawings done, I will be done in this one. Mommy, so it'll be fine. What do you need help with? This one. Oh, this stick? Let's yeah. see. We're gonna find the stick. Just the bow staff. Yep. I think I found it. Oh, I did, okay. 
Um, and I was kind of chatting with some people and they were like, well, what if you want to draw big? Because my B6 is obviously bigger than my field notes. I have these journals that I have thrown aside for the moment because um, I fell in love with traveler's notebooks and I fell in love with making my own. I shouldn't say traveler's notebooks because I really enjoy folios for um, my illustrated journal. Uh, and the reason is, this has become a chatty video, but the reason that I like these so much is because it's I can Coptic stitch bind them, so every little page lays flat. And when I put this into a... Okay, so when, when I do this, when I'm binding it, it's really nice to have small amounts of paper per signature because then it makes the book lie flatter, okay? And when you put it into a ring, or into a ring, into a, um, a cord, because you only have like a thin amount of paper, um, you know, in one signature, the cord can end up breaking the paper, especially with Tomo River paper because it's so thin. So that's why I prefer a folio for this type of notebook because, um, because then it doesn't rip the paper. So that's why I would say I'm a folio kind of person. But I do have these. This is a handbook and it has watercolor paper in it. The red guy's right there, sweetie. Okay. This has watercolor paper in it. Um, it, it has a little tooth to it, which I do not prefer, but it is a sketchbook that I could easily use if I wanted to go big um, instead of using my, my field notes. This is a Strathmore, no, no, no. I don't know what notebook this is. I used to buy these a bunch. I can't remember. It is really nice watercolor paper and I have obviously colored or painted the front. And then this is one of my favorite journals. If I was going to buy one um, and not make my own, I would prefer Stillman and Burn or Pentallic. But this is cream paper, mixed media. It cannot hold, I honestly, I really like the construction of this book. Well, and the main, the shh, hang on, I don't know. Just hang on just a second, okay? And the main reason is because of this front page. Um, in my, Pentallic, and granted this is, I wanna say maybe a year old. I don't like when this happens, where you have this front page. Whoops, <laughs> what was that? Did you knock over my bag? Yeah, that's okay, just leave it. When you have this front page and it like bends like this, and it doesn't like open to the end, it's like glued to it, I don't like that. It drives me nuts for some reason. But with the Stillman and Burn books, that does not happen. You have, you open your book and you have a full spread of the beautiful paper that they created for the book. So that's why I kind of prefer Stillman and Burn. Now with that, you still get situations like this, which I don't like. And there's the glue binding right there. Um, but this paper, like this uh, book is large enough that I could just do one image on one side. I wouldn't have to do a full spread on this particular um, spread. So. so anyway, that is probably what I'm going to be doing. I will probably move out of my B6 for, for a little bit to finish this journal up and then um, use this as my like everyday carry almost. So, and I have decided to pull out my Let's see, my um, like weekly spreads, these. I've decided to take those out completely and put them into a separate notebook. And she kind of dropped my stuff over here, so I'm getting it. So I have this guy and this houses my podcast notes and my calendar and my journal now. So I've downsized the size of my journal and made it fit within this handmade <laughs> calendar. I'm still doing the spreads in here. So um, I'm still keeping up with that, but I've kind of pulled it out because I feel like this I can take with me. It's the perfect size for like a purse. And then I also have my journal with me. 
Or if I wanted to, all this stuff, I'm becoming way more travel friendly now, I think. All this stuff fits in here, and I can take this with me. Um, this fits too, I think. I've actually never not done this. <gasps> no, it doesn't fit, but that's okay. So um, then I can take all this stuff with me if I wanted to, and I've really decreased my um, load, I guess, you know, my, my weight of what I'm carrying, so. So I think that is the update, and I know you got a little bit of footage of me drawing at the beginning. And she is just on top of it today, being all up in my videos, so I do apologize, but this is life. So, um, and then when I finish this guy completely up, you'll get a flip through of him. You'll get a flip through of her because she's almost done too. And then I will start on my, um, on my field notes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as of right now, some people have been asking what covers I have. These are the three covers that I have. They are all from Sojourner. Rowena has made them beautifully. If you are looking for a company um, that can make a notebook that is super thin and lightweight yet sturdy, this is what you're looking for. Even this one, this is no pockets, no nothing. Um, the leather is very thin and pliable, but yet it has it has structure. It's not. It's not like it's just um, flopping away on there. Like I really feel like my notebooks are kind of like um, secure in there. And then obviously this one uh, is, you know, I love, I just love her notebook. So I am getting a couple more things from her. And when those arrive, I will give you a sneak peek. But until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.